Welcome back to another unboxing. This time we got a dog shit brown box. Look at that. What could it be? Ooh, the mystery. Single wall thick brown box. Kind of dog shit. Kind of cheap. Just generic. Here we have a Sentry Arms Flyer. Fuck the NRA. We only support real movements like Gun Owners of America and that other one. Uh, Red Army Standard. I mean, Mr. Sleepy Band Russian Ammo for the importation of future Russian ammo. Don't want to spread any, any misinformation out here. But here it is. Here we have Clock 22, God's Caliber, RTF2, shout out Larry Vickers, police trade in, Glock, call this the Bad Bunny, so let's get into it, look at that, very, very safe, with the chamber flag, mag out standard cap mag 15 rounds of vibe checks set that aside chambers empty so as you can see right there it says I don't know what the fuck it says actually policia de puerto rico protección in Integridad. So all this says is Police Department of Puerto Rico, Protection and Integrity. Um, so I bought this off of Map Guns. Shout out Derek. Apparently it's just a ghost kitchen for uh, I think Top Gun Shooting Range. This is their online business where they sell guns. I bought a couple cans from there. This um, didn't know that. Let's get this mat out of here. Have some contrast. So here it is. RTF2, clock 22. This is a Gen 3 with the fish scales. That right there is everything and then some. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at those fish scales. If you get the filet -O fish from McDonald's, you're sick in the head and you should be put down. That's besides the point. Fish scales on a Glock, A-OK, -okay. I'll tell you what, but RTF2 is rough, texturized, some shit, um, rough texturized frame, that means it has these Gen 4-esque uh, nipples everywhere, this is a Gen 3, remember, they didn't have that, the gun is in pretty decent shape, not gonna lie, for the age that it is, for it to be a carry pistol, I went with the very good condition non hand pick, and this is what I got. Um, it does have some uh, some grip wear right here at the back. Uh, the the texture is going down a bit. Um, does have holster wear all around here on the base of the gun. It could be from you know getting in and out of a car, from you know going to get donuts and shit but other than that it's pretty decent condition it does have this engraving that's a bit gaudy I mean would have liked it without it but right now times is tough you just gotta it is what it is man but Jesus fucking Christ a gen 3 clock is probably the quintessential Glock, RTF2, shout out Larry Vickers, free Larry Vickers, my boy did nothing, you're a piece of shit ATF for seizing that man's guns like that bro, dude's going through cancer, that dude's going through all types of shit, shout out Larry Vickers, speaking of Larry Vickers, <clears throat> got some plans for this gun, shout out to fucking OG Moose Knuckle bro. Without Larry Vickers, I wouldn't be who I am today. 
But back to Larry Vickers and his Tango Down collapse. Got some plans for this gun. Gonna do the extended mag release. The slide. Probably not gonna do the Tango Down one. Probably go with the CAG works. Um, gonna do the upgraded takedowns. The, a little bit bigger. Um, sights. These bitches are pretty beat. Pretty crust, crust, crust. Ooh, shit! It's kicking my ass. They're pretty crusty, but interesting enough, these are metal Glock sights, not plastic. So that's pretty fucking cool. Let's take it apart. Let's see how the insides look. Let's start with the bottom. Lower pretty decent I mean it has been shot but what do you expect from a service pistol I mean what are you gonna do whenever you find somebody speeding you're gonna fucking shoot them I saw cops are good before the slide a little bit of crusties maybe they did a little little cleaning a little T and E before they sent them out but it's pretty decent pretty decent The single rod recoil spring, they changed it in Gen 4s and Gen 5s. Let's see this barrel. Barrel has some indicators up top. But it was shot a little bit. It does have some brass or copper markings right here on the feed ramp. Expected. together but yeah other than that pretty decent RTF2 always wanted one on the hunt for a 22C RTF2 cause that with the fucking comp up top hot as fuck need that but other than that Pretty simple. Shout out to Map Guns, the Ghost Kitchen for Top Gun Shooting Range. Fucking Derek laced me up. Look, just look at the way that fucking fits in my hand. Jesus Christ. I mean, vibe checker. This one I gotta unload because that's the one that I keep on me. Vibe checker, the OG problem solver gotta keep it laced with steel case shout out to just look at that fucking dynamic duo jesus fucking christ just a whole lot of get some right here i'll tell you what just look at that that's nothing can get more iconic than that look at that this is gonna be the fucking thumbnail just five checks like that pretty much the same one for each hand but check out map guns shout out to them they didn't pay me to put this out I paid them to put this out ironically but got some plans for this one so stay tuned chill